Okay, so let's go ahead and put together what we've labeled as the get well card. Now, you're gonna take this main piece here. It's the, the biggest piece. You wanna fold it in half, and you want it face up with the little marks that are, are cut in here, and that's just to help you align this piece um, exactly like we have it. Okay, so you want this to be up here with those little um, marks there. Let's open this up, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece, and for the sake of making it easier to write on, I'm putting this piece um, texture side down. You can do texture side up if you want. We're gonna go ahead and do texture side down, and I'm just gonna get that glued into place. Okay, so I'm just gonna go easy on the glue here. I'm going very easy on the glue here because I do not want to warp this paper. I want it to be nice and pretty so that when we write on it, that's all you see is the writing and you don't see any weird imperfections. Okay, and then all we wanna do is get this nice and centered right on the inside there and then just push and hold that down until it sets. Okay, all right. So that's pretty much it for that. Okay, then you can go ahead and locate this piece here. You wanna fold it like this so that you have these little um, L-shaped and reverse L-shaped marks right on the front like this. Okay, and then we have a little tab here, and we're gonna actually glue that tab behind this part here. Okay, so we can go ahead and add our glue to this tab. Okay, and let's get that glued into place. Just make sure that you have it nice and aligned and flush with the bottom there. And then just fold this over and just kind of set it flat on your table and then go ahead and push that down. Make sure that gets a nice grip. Okay. These cards go together really quick. And they're really cool too because they kind of stand up like, like an easel. Um, okay, so we have that in place. And the next thing we want to do is put our little decorative piece on the inside here. So as I mentioned, um, you're gonna basically take it and align it inside. There's two little score marks right about here. That is for the stem, I guess you can call it, of this element here. It's gonna go right in there. And then there's one additional um, cut there. You just wanna get that lined up with the tip of that. Okay, so just get that nice and lined up and glue that down. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on this. Now we used a gold foil on this. Um, you're welcome to use whatever you want to use, obviously. Okay, so I am on these smaller little details here. I'm doing little dots because I do not want this to smear. And then on some of these larger areas, I'm doing a very thin bead of glue. Okay. Just doing little dots, especially towards the ends so they don't peel up. go okay so we'll flip this over and like I said just make sure that you get it nice and properly aligned using those little guides that we've provided okay and then just push and glue that down just like that okay so the next thing we can do is we can take this little border element there's a little white piece that goes on top of the gold piece so I am gonna go ahead and do little dots, probably just one little tiny dot on each of these little scallops here. Real tiny little dot, you don't need a lot. And the surface area on this is so minuscule that a little tiny dot will do the trick. So let's get that nice and centered on our little gold piece here. Okay, so we have that in place. And then there are also two little guides right on that cutout there to help you with the alignment of this piece as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna put glue on the back of this piece. Not too much, just enough. We don't want it to smear out. Okay, get that nice and aligned. 
on your piece here and push that down and give that a few moments to dry. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's looking pretty good so far. And now we can go ahead and work on the main little section here, which is made up of these pieces here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and glue this white piece onto my gold piece here. Okay, and that is, that's gonna be our first layer. And I'm gonna create the second layer with the actual flower. And I'm gonna use a foam square um, to kind of give this some extra dimension. So you wanna, you wanna make sure that you get this nice and centered and you have a nice even border all the way around. Okay, so make sure that you do that. And give this just a few seconds to dry before you do anything with it. So that looks nice. Okay, and you're gonna take this piece and simply align it using those little markers there. Okay, so I'm gonna put glue inside of this area here, inside of the markers. You don't wanna go beyond the markers, otherwise you're gonna end up with just stray glue doing nothing there. Okay, and let's get that nice and aligned and in place, and then push that down and let it set. Okay, just like that. All right, let's put that off to the side for a second. Uh, now we're gonna put this piece right on here, okay? And I've taken this and I've actually um, embossed it with an embossing folder, and that's optional, but always kind of makes it look really nice. So I'm gonna put some glue on the back of this piece and again, just making sure that I center this nicely. Get that nice and centered. Keep a nice even border all the way around. Push and hold that in place until it sets. Okay. We can go ahead and grab our foam squares. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put four of them down just so that it's nice and sturdy, not too far out to the edge because you don't want you don't want them to be seen. I guess it's not the end of the world if they are, but I'd rather they're inconspicuous. Okay, then we can take this and center this on this piece here, and it may be a good idea to kind of get a good angle when you do that. Just to make sure that you're maintaining a nice even border all the way around, which I almost didn't. There we go. Okay. So there we have that. Okay. And at this point we can put our little flower on here. Okay. So this is the main part of the flower and I went ahead and I am, I actually inked it in a, like a turquoise or a light blue. And we're gonna put this little gold piece right at the top here. So we wanna get just a little bit of glue inside of those little guides. We give you the guides for two reasons. So you know where to put glue and where not to put glue. And also so that you know where to glue it. Okay, so there is our little flower. And we actually also provided some guides on this cutout to help you position that flower correctly. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some glue right here on this white part. Okay, and I'm gonna get that glued into place using those guides. Make sure that you've got it nice and lined up. There we go. That looks really pretty actually. Okay, and then we have our little leaf and stem, and this as well. We've included little guides to help you with the positioning on that. I'm gonna just put a few tiny, tiny little dots on the stem part, and then just a very thin layer of leaf, or I'm sorry, of glue onto the actual um, leaf here. Now, actually, you, you probably only want to 
go out to about there on the glue because part of this is actually sticking off. Okay, so we'll just get that glued into place like so. Again, both of these were inked. And that's just a very, oops, I didn't get enough glue on there, guys. That or I didn't act quick enough. Got to move quick, especially when you're putting down just a tiny little bit of glue. And that's okay. I like making mistakes on camera because it shows you that it happens and it's totally fine. So I didn't actually glue these down, but I kind of like how it looks with uh, a little dimension there, the casting a little light shadow um, on the paper behind it. And that to me looks, that's like a really gorgeous card. That's really simple and really quick. Okay, so um, last but not least, I am going to uh, embellish this a little bit, um, probably with um, just some rhinestones, some lime rhinestones. I'm gonna put them on the actual um, gold portion. And then I have a little stamp that I'm gonna stamp on there. This one's gonna say, um, get well. Okay, and this is a good little area here to put your little caption, and then you can write a message on the inside as well. So that's pretty much it for this card. Okay, so I have my little um, rhinestones on there, and this is about the angle that it's gonna sit at. Okay, i probably pop it out like that. So um, really pretty, and actually, uh, forgot to mention that it does come with a beautiful envelope as well. So we can just fold that up, but put that off to the side momentarily. And here is our envelope. Okay. You want to go ahead and fold that over. Just get everything folded on the score marks here. Okay. And this envelope, I don't really think it needs much instruction. All you're going to do is put glue on these tabs here. Okay, and for the envelope, I would especially make sure that you're getting your glue out to the edges there. Okay, and gotta kinda work quick here, because this is quick dry. Okay, and just get that smeared out nice to the edge there. And then you can just go ahead and take this flap and fold it over on top of these tabs. And as long as, as long as you can push the paper down, it will fall perfectly into place and it'll be perfectly aligned because we designed it that way. Okay, now we have a little seal, not the, not the water animal, but this little guy here coordinates with our our little uh, little leaf portion of the flower. Okay, and I'm just going to use my little dot method on this small piece. Just put a series of dots all the way around this, especially on those little nooks and crannies there. Okay, there we go. And we're going to get this nice and centered on this part here. Okay, there we go. And what we're gonna do is we are going to glue this pretty much uh, right about there so that you've got about roughly half of it hanging off. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right there. Okay, and just pop that right on there like that. Make sure you've got it nice and centered and vertical. Okay, and just push and hold that down for a few seconds. Make sure that it sets. And you've got a beautiful envelope for a beautiful card. And it should fit inside there perfectly. Okay. And there you go. You can seal that with a little pop dot or something. Um, you can put a little bit of glue on there if you want. And your card is all done. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. 
get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.